We humans have coexisted with the stars for many thousands of years. Stars represent life and death. They preside over the cycles of the universe and give birth to the elements of life. People have looked to the night skies with awe and wonder from time immemorial. But a catastrophe stopped these same stars. Relayers, those who seek the inevitable end of the universe according to its laws, and the star children who resist them. This is their story. In 2049, a portion of the Earth loses gravity, causing grave destruction. People, vehicles, and shattered buildings suddenly fell upward into space. It was a disaster unparalleled in all of human history. The city was destroyed in this tragic event. Many lives were lost. The disaster came to be known as the Gravity Loss Event. The Gravity Technology Development Organization, known as GT Labs, determined that relayers were responsible. However, mankind lacked the tools to fight back. That truth was sure to send the people of Earth into a panic. The United Earth Government in Japan made the decision to conceal the true nature of the catastrophe, instead calling it a meteor strike. Meanwhile, in order to protect Earth from the impending threat, GT Labs, under the leadership of humanity's first star child, Himiko, began to accelerate development of anti-relayer weaponry known as Stellar Gear, as well as the identification of other star children in possession of the will of the stars. 2051. Our story, the story of the star children, begins on the lunar surface in a colony known as Artemis. Two years to the day. No wonder, I guess. It's been two years since I lost Luna. And my memory. I've been living an aimless existence ever since. Somehow, I ended up on the lunar colony, Artemis. 
Good morning, Master Terra. You appear distressed. Was it the usual dream? Good morning, Yoroka. Guess you didn't think to shake me out of it. I do apologize. You woke up of your own accord before I was able to make a decision. I thought that I had let go and moved on. But I guess it's not that easy. You told me you lost most of your memory due to the shock of losing your little sister in the disaster two years ago. Which is perfectly understandable. One does not simply move on from that. I suggest you grieve for as long as you need to. <sighs> Where are you going, Master Terra? To take a shower. I'm all covered in sweat thanks to that dream. As you please. However, checkout is in ten minutes. Are you sure you have adequate time? What? I ask once again, why is it you didn't wake me up? Last night upon retiring, you stated, I'm tired, so please don't wake me up in the morning. In addition... In addition? I occasionally enjoy seeing you flustered, Master Terra. I find that it greatly stimulates my intellect. Stimulates your intellect? I should put you in a junkyard. Well? Pardon me for being presumptuous, but I assume this... Don't be so quick to assume. Wait. Nearly everywhere we have been to date has been up... Mars is also on that list, hence the recommend... Hmm, I guess. Incidentally, how do you intend to travel? The same way we got here. On that thing. Pardon me for being direct, but are you a complete... What? 80 million kilometers currently separate Earth... I guess it's farther than I thought. Oh, Master Terra, your navigational inept... Wow, no need to be so harsh. Die, humans. <laughs> what is the matter, Master Terra? That light. No. Oh, God. If you really do exist out there... I beg you, please, then open your eyes. about me. I'm more real. Thank goodness. I'm so glad. You flatter me, Master. But I really am glad. I was so... You say, again, please expect... My... My sister... Everything burning. Wreckage. People... What the hell is going on? Do you really want to know? Who are you? Himiko. Himiko? Star Child. The first star. I've come to find you, Terra. 2051. I'm it. <laughs> Damn it! What the hell is. Strange. Calms with both the base. Multiple heat signals incoming! What the? 
Corporal Max! What's happening? Are we under attack? A red quasar. What is it? Damn! Comms are out. Did they take me? Hmm. Guess they still want to live. We'll handle this. No. Leave this to me. Understood. Answer me! Who are you with? I'm a star child. A star child? I'm the star child. Of the moon. A, a dark gear? No way. Dark gear. So that's what the... I'm relieved to see you in one piece, first star. I'm sorry not to see you in pieces, masked man. Just to confirm, is that girl the one you- That's right. She's the star child who possesses- Hmm. So you're the one. Um, Himiko. It's... Unfortunately. He... They call me Observer. I sustained a terrible wound to my face long ago. Hey! This is no time for leisurely inter- Looks that way. Relayers are the only- My star is saying they're relayers too. Then it must so. Uh... Um... They're our... Not everyone's... Enemy? Relayers are disciples of dark energy who- They have one goal. To extinct- They're the ones who hit Artemis with the gravity lost- What? I believe you witnessed it firsthand. Yes, I did. Maybe that's why. It's not and that's why the stars willed us star children. Maybe you haven't noticed yet, but there's a. The Earth's will is inside. Observer, I'll leave Terra to you. That's right. Your stellar gear is here in this lab. Of course. If nothing else. And I'm here to give them a galaxy-sized beatdown. But still... Besides, they don't call me the first stop. <sighs> I've been to so many countries and very... A question, if I may. What prompted you to... If I sat around and did nothing, when I had the... I've been through two of these awful gravity loss events now. I find it difficult to understand willingly. Hey, you two. What's she talking... We're here. Is that Astoria? I thought it fell and burned up in the atmosphere after fighting, so it survived its crash landing and been in her hands the whole Sorry for the wait, Master Terra. No problem, Yudaka. That was faster than I- Fortunately, I was able to establish gravitational- What would I do without you, Yudaka? Please. Step aboard. This gear has already- I have no idea how well I can fight, but- Of course. They don't call me the first star. <sighs> this is my first time fighting in this. More than enough. Along the way, it's been outfitted with some- Okay, I'll act as a decoy. Please don't try to do too much. Dying won't ha- I know that. I swear I'd-
Master Terra, please allow me to handle the controls. Wow. You can do all that? I excel at it. Why didn't you ever... You never saw... You understood. I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. So that... Let us proceed. No dice! Not yet. Be gone. This is nothing. That can't be. I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. Catching you up. I'll teach them a lesson. It appears. <laughs> Eat this. Stella Gear Astoria, ready to blaze trails. Who wants to die? I'll kill you myself. I'm still good! Stella Gear Astoria. Ready to blaze trails. I do that? Guess some of these GT Labs guys know what they're doing. <gasps> what is the matter, Master Tech? I'd recognize my own little sister anywhere. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Is that my sister piloting that gear? What are the odds? I'm so glad you're alive. But why are you in that? What's that? You've got a lot of nerve. You're the one who let me go. And why are you talking like a creep? Uh, come on, sis. Don't you think it's a bad idea to open your cockpit in the middle of a fight? What? Oh, no, please. Why are you... Like you don't know. But if you have to know, I guess you could say I'm a bad star child. That's what I said. <laughs> Damn. Guess that didn't finish the job. Are you alright, Master Terra? Thanks for saving me, but... I'm not even sure if I wanted you to... Your safety is my primary concern. See you some other time, sis. Wait, Luna! Please don't go! Reinforcement? Sorry for the holdup, Terra. Sorry to ask so much. Roger that. I can't. Let's get rolling, Yodaka. It's time to move out. Commencing repairs. The first star is ready to shine. Commencing operation. Activating gym. 
Moving out. I'll provide support. Felagir Astoria. Ready to blaze trails. Go clear the way! Have I been hit? The first star is ready to shine. Let's heal up. I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. Damn! Let's get back to the level up. Impossible. No nearby enemy readings. It looks as though we made it. First, I'm still shocked the relayers would target GT Labs directly. But why the Moon Lab and not the HQ Lab? Um, Yumiko? There's... The sister you thought was dead is in cahoots with the Relayers? We barely spoke, but there's no mistake. It was my sister, Luna. A human helping the Relayers? I, I just don't get it. You're sure she called herself a Star Child? Yes. She said she was a bad Star Child. You have any idea where she went? Uh, yeah, she headed for that building. Oh. <gasps> oh. They're going after the original one. Now I know why they. Th I'm sorry, Tara, but I have to go after her. Uh, I'll go with you, Yudaka. Please ready our gears. Yes, Master Tara. I didn't realize such a place existed beneath the lab. It was nice. So this is it. I hope it's to your liking. A hidden gear stored in a hangar that doesn't officially exist. Correct. This is the crown jewel of ancient knowledge humans discovered in Antarctica. A relic of a civilization wiped out over a hundred million years ago. And only those who can sense and manipulate GY particles can operate it. Which of course limits its use to star children. Yeah, I know. That's what... Are you sure about this? Aren't you with the United Earth government? It's a key, you see. This key's purpose is to open a certain cage. Which is why it's best I entrust it to you. With this, the God Relayer can... Take the key and go, beloved child of the moon. Observer? What are you doing here? Did you... As a matter of fact, I did. What? The girl you let's go or <laughs> The original one is not Rejoice. After 100 million years, the key has been released from its eternal slot. What? You mean to tell me you just let her walk in and climb into the original one? All to open the cage. The cycles of the universe must repeat themselves. Go forth and conquer primordial stellar gear. To the stars. Luna! 
Not good. She's a Himika. Let's hurry outside. Yudaka should be a That's my sister's gear. Dilemma. Dilemma. It appears as though this is the original one. In which case, I have but one option. Yudaka <laughs> can pilot a gear? Simple maneuvering might be more accurate. You might want to get in your gear, too. You won't be able to hold her for long. <laughs> I'm on it. The genuine and the forgery. Sister and sister. Earth. <sighs> I'm glad to see you're safe, Master Terra. Yes. I'm not sure why, but... It looks like she was after that red gear all along. Well, that was quite a bull- We have to stop. I don't quite understand why myself. <laughs> Not to worry. Did you forget that you have the first star here? This smell. No mistaking it. It's been so long since I've- Looks like that red gear has a collaborator in it. That's right, Walker. I stole off with the original- Does your presence here mean you've finished your meal? I devoured- Well, don't presume you can have my- The light-colored one. Unacceptable. No. I'm going to kill that one. I repeat. We won't let her- I don't think so. Resist your annihilation. Why? Wouldn't anyone resist getting killed? When we destroy this three dimensional universe, we will elevate it, and you, to a higher plane. And it will be the sweet nectar that satisfies my insatiable hunger at long last. I will continue to cons consume starlight. I cannot comprehend. To us, they're nothing more than a byproduct of nuclear fusion. <laughs> Stella Gear Astoria, ready to blaze trails. I'll do what I can to protect the universe. Take this! Come! Ugh. I can't believe you caught me. She's... <laughs> Stella Gear Astoria. Ready to blaze trails. 
Pas du noir. Let's do it. Just fall. So this is a human. I won't allow anyone to stand in our way. Gone. I still have so much further to go. I'm getting stronger. No. This gear's about as useful as scrap metal in my hands. Collaborator retreat confirmed. Mission successfully completed. Sorry. I must retreat. <sighs> enemy withdrawal confirmed. Zero enemy forces in or around the facility. You must be tired. No. We need to follow Luna. Or at least... I wish we could. Considerable time has elapsed since the original one withdrew. Additionally, dashing off into space recklessly is a good way to get lost. Even if we were to overtake... You're right. That much is obvious. Then... Let's work together. Master Terra, to extrapolate, even aside from transportation, the GravTech Development Group GT Labs, established by the United Earth Government, could provide all of that. Yes, I agree with... <laughs> I'll use our ship. The experimental supergravity vessel Asterism. Are you all right? You are. Yes, I'm fine. Am I? Damn it! Answer me! Who are you with? Who the hell are you? I'm a star child. A star child? I'm the star child of the moon, bringer of death to humanity. Star child, I still don't get it. What a surprise to see a survivor amid such destruction. Who the hell are you? This, too, must have been foretold by the stars. O oh, Keeper of Destiny, you truly are too kind to me. What are you babbling about, moron? Question. What is it you desire from the Star Children? Revenge, of course. They just slaughtered all of my men in cold blood. Revenge, is it? Not a bad reason to turn to the dark side. Hey, wait a minute. Do you know what the Star Children are? Quite well, in fact. Perhaps better than anyone. Then tell me! Follow me. I can tell you all you wish to know. Pray, open your eyes. Before all comes to naught. Is that me? You must not fight. The original one will only bring you all sorrow. Luna? The original one leads the way to Zero. It is its sole guide. The original one is a tool 
of destruction. It brings misfortune to all around it. Make a choice. Everything hinges on your decision. Make a choice, Terra. Choose your destiny. Good morning, Master Terra. What happened? Approximately one hour. One hour and seven minutes, to be precise. Good. Um... Where are we? Is this a hotel or something? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. We're aboard GT Lab's state-of-the-art experimental supergravity vessel Asterism. You passed out, so we brought you on board. How do you feel? Sorry for all the hassle. I'm no worse for wear. Good to hear. Can you walk? I didn't exp well, oh, like we'll be engaging the real. Of course, it's a. Hmm. When did you get to be so? We are aware of the high. Accordingly, the asterism will be tasked with the. Surely you don't expect me just to go along with that. GT Labs only gave us three directives. The first was to test fly the asterism. The second, to search for star children. And the third, to train pilots. We can properly revise the contract. I think you know that's not the point, Isaac. Dressing it up as a recovery mission makes it sound easy. But the truth is, we'd be fighting relayers. We know next to nothing about them. Including the Astoria, we only have two gears. But the main issue is that our pilots are inexperienced. We're simply not ready. Do you really- We completely understand. But as relayers have started appearing within Earth's atmosphere, besides, we can't afford to lose the original one yet. You understand that? I do. I'll be expecting- We'll do whatever we can to help. I'm counting on you. <sighs> you heard the man, Medea. I thought you were just whining for a second there. But you handled the negotiations well, Captain. Sorry for the hold-up, you two. Uh, you uh, <laughs> Tara, was it? Welcome aboard the Asterism. I'm the captain of this ship, Belnix G. Gillian. And that over there is... Radio Officer Medea Caduceus. Nice to meet you, Tara. I'm Tara, and this is my assist bot, Yodaka. Per Master Tara's introduction, I am called Yodaka. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, how cute! Who makes this kind of assist bot? I've never seen one that talks so well. Ah, so you're the new star child Himiko found. Everyone's been talking about you. My name's Pluto. As you might guess, I'm the star child of Pluto. I take care of whatever those two don't. Controls, steering, sensors, electronic warfare. Come to think of it, I'm kind of the battery and brains of this ship. You're a battery? You handle nearly everything on this craft yourself? That's incredible. That about sums it up, Yodaka. It's possible because I'm a bit of a unique star child. He's not lying. We really do manage this bridge with just two crew members. Now down to business. Tell me about this battle you were in. I want to hear details. So that's why you joined the battle in the stellar gear. I can't believe there's a human collaborator on the relayer side. Not just that, but it's a star child. 
whole reason star children were created was so the will of the stars could fight the relayers. It doesn't even seem possible. But I'm more shocked about Observer. He just let her walk right in and steal it. Isn't a man supposed to do whatever he can to stop that kind of thing? What happened with him? I don't know. Hopefully, he got crushed under some rubble. He must be pretty bad if even you hate him so much, Himiko. Well, it's not so hard to understand how she feels. Whatever the case may be, he's the monitor the United Earth government assigned to us. I'll put in the missing person. Um, so... What's going to happen with me? Charges for unauthorized possession of a top-secret GT lab stellar gear, and acts of war for starters. <sighs> I assure you, I transmitted a report to GT Labs as soon as we discovered it. Don't worry, we're not a formal military. We won't deal out a harsh punishment. Let me ask you, though. What do you want to do? Well, uh, what do you mean? If you want to join us and go after the original one, or your sister, I should say, I'd be fine with that. But there's something I need you to understand. We plan to get out there and take back what belongs to us. We'll be dealing with relayers. <sighs> if you want off this ride, you can disembark when we stop at port. But GT Labs might take serious interest in a star child with access to such top secret Captain! It's okay, Himiko. With all that in mind... To be perfectly honest, I'm a bit overwhelmed with my sister. I want to find Luna. I need to talk to her. I heard the comm logs. She didn't sound very interested in talking to you. I'm not even sure what I'd say to her. But if I don't talk to her, we'll never have a chance to try and reach some understanding. Luna... Is the only family I have. I figure she's worth putting my life on the line for. Family ties, huh? Guess that's as good a reason as any. I'm so sorry for speaking out of turn, Tara. Himiko, I'm leaving her in your care. I got this. You're okay with this decision, right, Yuraka? Absolutely. It's your journey. You decide where we go, Master Tara. As I stated previously, the Asterism's goal of locating the original one, and your goal of finding Luna, convening thusly. However, please do be mindful of becoming a hindrance to the crew aboard- Yeah, it's been years since I've lived around people, but when in Rome, do as the Romans, right? Uh, one more thing. Yeah? I fear you may be unaware of this, but you are what is commonly referred to as a dolt. A what now? Wow. The most illustrative example in my recollection is the time you got lost on Mount Osore and subsisted off weeds. You grew extremely ill in turn and slept for three days, straight in the elements. There are many such examples of your extreme lack of common sense, and until now, only I have witnessed... Thank you, Yudaka, for regaling everyone with such an enlightening story. Gotta do what you gotta do, but... Weeds? Mount Asor, a volcano in Japan. That's a sacred spot. Very interesting. So, Tara's adult, huh? <laughs> Got any more funny stories about her? H Himiko! As leader of the Star Children, I need to know everything about those under my care. How about the time her laundry got swept away in the Tokachi River and she ran after it half naked? Oh, <laughs> I see. So, Tara enjoys streaking. No, I had no other choice. I'm not into that. Yodaka, please, for the love of all that's holy, don't embarrass me anymore. <laughs> Sounds like you'll be a fun addition to the team. Are we in grade school here? Finished getting to know the rookie. Yep. Then have her stop by. If you plan on having her pilot, there's someone she should meet. Gotcha. 
Okay. Wait, before I go, can I... Uh, sure, but... Why... Photography is my hobby. Also, it'll help me remember everyone's names and faces. <laughs> In that case, take as many as you like. Not at all. Okay. Hmm. So you're the brand new rookie. I'm Tara. Nice to meet you. My name's Akaboshi. Mm. Uh... Is there something on my face? You're the one who repaired this? Yes, I guess so. Where'd you learn? Um... It's just kind of... a hobby. That's amazing for someone with no training. Wow. Grants almost never compliments anyone. Maybe it'll rain tomorrow. Not that it can space. Um... You are... That's right. I wanted to introduce you to her. This is Venus. She takes care of the Astoria and the gears as part of her training. Any questions about your gear? She's your girl. She may not look like it, but she knows her gears. I can vouch for it. If your name is Venus, that must mean you're a star child too? Yeah, that's right. I possess the will of Venus. But I'm not a pilot. I'm a mechanic. Don't hesitate to let me know if I can help you with anything, okay? Thank you. Likewise. Oh, uh, that's right. A picture? Sure, I guess that's okay. I just want to try- You're a real go-getter. Alright. Why do I need to be in the picture? We haven't taken a picture together in years. What? Oh, alright. Okay, here goes. Say cheese. Peace. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll bring you a copy later. Sure, it's the least I can do for you. Oh, hey, would you mind taking another one? Sure, of course. Okay, everyone, break Hey, the little lady's calling us. Everyone, take five. You heard the boss. A group photo. How oh, nice. Some of us may not be around for much longer. Just wanted to get a picture of all of us together. So, what did you want to talk to me about? I'm not actually the one who needs to talk. That would be him. Hey, Neil. It's been a while. I last saw you on Earth... what? About a month ago? Hey there, good to see you, Himiko. You seem to be doing well. So, what was it you wanted to talk about? I'm running a background check on Terra, and I've hit a wall. Is there anything you can tell me about her? Well, what have you found so far? Name is Terra, surname unknown. She's in her late teens to early twenties. She was on Artemis for seven days, staying at the Celine Hotel, room number 305. Her name isn't in the terminal visitor log, so it must be true that she arrived in a stellar gear from the orbital ring. That's it. If it were you or Venus, I could find your family register, educational history, and even birth weight pretty quickly. Uh, you sound more like a creepy stalker than a background investigator. Yeah, everyone's always on guard around me. The only person I can really talk to is Isaac. Anyway, I digress. She's a star child, so naturally GT Labs wants to know everything about her. Her sister is the one who stole the original one, so there's doubt as to if we can trust her. Whatever you know is fine, Himiko. Can you share anything with me? It's not that I don't want to, but she mentioned she's a survivor of the gravity loss incident two years ago. She said she traveled all over Japan and to some other countries. Anything else? Nothing you don't already know. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. But it's possible she may be a Relayer spy. Sure, there's a lot we don't know about Terra. But there's no way. 
No one likes being suspicious, but the United Earth Government and GT Labs aren't going to be okay with this at all. Understand? I hear you. No skin off my back. I'll stay suspicious, you stay trusting. Anyway, I need to get going. Let me know if you learn anything else. I was just thinking about Luna. About how she is a star child, yet has aligned herself with the Relayers? That too. But that day two years ago, I did let go of her hand. It's true, but she has to know I didn't do it on purpose. Why does she hate me so much? Beyond that, it's the Relayers who caused the gravity loss event. So why is she on their side? Mere speculation. But the answer may lie somewhere within your lost memories. If it's impossible to restore your memory, why don't we try uncovering your past on this journey? Even if you don't find the answers you seek, I suspect that you may at least venture closer to the truth. My past? There you are. I've been looking for you. Hey, Himiko. Already finished talking? Yeah, it was nothing important. Sure, that's- Not at all. As you wish, Master Terra. Nice. Let's do it. As you already know, this is the bridge. We call it the CCC. CCC. I would assume it stands for Central Control Center. That's right. This is where the ship is navigated, and the captain is also where we do briefings. Keep that in mind. This is the Star Lobby. I can't lie, this is my favorite stargazing spot. Yes, it's very good. There's a drink bar and magazines to read. Feel free to relax here anytime. Um, what are you doing? Oh, it's you. That's an altar. No, judging by the shape, it's a small shrine. A shrine aboard a battleship? They used to keep these on Japanese warships over a hundred years ago. Also, this is a cruiser, not a battleship. Director Akaboshi set it up for good luck. What do you call it? I don't call it anything. It's just an old shrine I brought aboard for my mother's childhood home. But I guess we ought to give a name to something so sacred. How about the Asterism Shrine? Asterism, huh? Sounds a little too Western if you ask me. Then, how about the Seigun Shrine? Seigun is the Japanese word for Asterism, correct? Seigun Shrine. Not a bad name. Seigun Shrine it is, though. Does this shrine Grant us some kind of... Who knows? I'm not sure if gods or blessings even exist, to be honest. But I do know we got youngsters here about to put their lives on the line. Fighting these so-called relayers, gotta do what I can as an adult around here. A little... And last but not least, here's your room, Terra. How wonderful. Looks like you'll have a proper place to sleep, Master Terra. Blankets. Are you sure it's okay for me? Oh, almost forgot. Uh... Is this the sick bay? Yes, but we don't actually have a doctor. How unfortunate. I had been hoping to have Master Terra examined by a physician. Is something wrong with her? Yes, primarily with her head. She would not engage in such ridiculously abnormal behavior otherwise. I abnormal? Would you just wipe those memories already? Something smells good. This must be the cafeteria. Yep. Today is curry day. 
Medea makes it with special spices. We call it Asterism Curry. You have to try it. Wow, that sounds great. I just love curry. How wonderful. Looks like you'll be eating proper meals here. How spicy do you like your curry? As spicy as possible. <laughs> I figured you for mild. What about you? I like mine fairly mild. I've never been big on spicy food. Oh, and there's not a lot in the kitchen, but you're free to use whatever. I always whip up late night snacks. Here's the library. Or rather, the Space Science Library. Welcome to the Space Science Library. I figured you two might show up soon. Oh, hey Pluto. This is a storehouse of knowledge. You can find almost anything you'd want to know. Fortunately, you're a star child. You can access information up to security level 5. What level may I access, Pluto? We consider you and Terra as one entity, so you can share the same level of clearance. I am most 